What's up, users? In this video, we're going to learn how to create a multicolor menu. Okay, so to begin, I'm just going to clear the space at the top and our website uh, got into the center there. Um, and then I'm going to go to Object, Insert Widget, uh, Menu, Horizontal, and just paste it right here. I'm going to drag it to the corner, the left side of the page, and just kind of make the buttons a little bit bigger, make that a little bit smaller. I'm going to add uh, let's say s seven menu items. They're a bit. That's quite a bit, but we'll just do that. So I'm gonna go here to the to the blue circle arrow, and I'm gonna say uh, menu type. I'm gonna turn it to manual so that I can add more menu items. And here where it says edit together, I'm gonna leave that on for now. But we're gonna take that off a little bit later to change the colors. So I'm just gonna click here and then hit the plus symbol. Click again, plus symbol plus symbol just gonna drag it so that I have more space plus symbol plus symbol plus symbol so I have seven there and now I'm gonna go ahead and change the name of each of these so I'm gonna say home um, about um, FAQ um, products services contact and support all right, so that there's our menu, and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Those are pretty wide, so something like that. And now um, I do want to change the text, so I want to make the text a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna make it like 18, and I'm gonna change the font to something like that. That's a little bit better. All right, so there's our menu. Now I want to change the color for each button. Um, so I'm going to first uh, click this blue button here. And where it says edit together, I'm going to take that off. So now I can edit each of these buttons, menu buttons individually. So I'm just going to go to the first one where it says fill, change it to orange. Second one where it says fill, change it to green. Uh, yellow, it's kind of an ugly yellow, but we'll leave it. Uh, green, not the most attractive menu <laughs> by any means. Um, yeah, this is really not so nice, but just kind of showing you how you can create a multicolored menu. So, yeah, I mean, if you have a multicolored menu, you can do some color coordination. So I'll create a few blocks here, like uh, we'll just make them 300 uh, by 300, uh, or no, uh, 300 in height, 100% width. And I'll, I'll turn this into... Um, Let's see the fill and let's say we'll have the screen color so we can color coordinate so I can put this one here let's put it down more here um, and then I can do like a, I'll just copy this rectangle do one here and change the color to this orange all right and now if I put it down towards the page just we have some scrolling uh, space now I'm gonna just set an anchor right here and call it green and I'm going to set another anchor here and call it orange and there we go and I'll set this green one uh, in the hyperlinks I'll set it to green and then this home I'll set it to orange so now if we hit command shift E to preview in the browser and I hit uh, support it takes me to the green and if I hit the orange it takes me to the orange. We need more scr scroll space here at the bottom so we can see that effect. And you might have noticed that our menu was off. I'll fix that in a second. Our menu is to the left. We don't really want that. But as you can see, it now goes to the orange and support goes to green. So pretty cool. You can color coordinate your website to different parts of the website. And just to fix this uh, menu, um, here, let me do that I think that might do it yeah there we go I think I just had the menu at 100% width and when you do that with the menu for some reason it makes it go to the left and not stay centered so there we go support 
and home we have a multi-colored menu um, the reason I made this what uh, this tutorial I had a question from somebody in the comments um, on my YouTube channel so I decided to to make this video uh, also if you want to color coordinate the uh, the hover uh, states you just click on the button you go to states um, tool and where it says roll over you just pick a different color so I can do like um, you know blue you know just really kind of just go crazy with colors if I want obviously I didn't put much thought into the colors that I'm selecting um, hopefully you know you'll kind of do that I'm just trying to save some time here for this video um, and there we go so now if we go to command shift E like our hovers are all different colors as well. So we have a really colorful menu. You know, we can color co coordinate it um, and things like that. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe below. And uh, yeah, I have a few other links um, in the in the description. Uh, I, I have free resources. I also have paid resources uh, that'll help you get started with your website. Um, I call it my website starter kit. Um, I have hosting, uh, I have widgets, uh, I'm affiliated with Muse Themes, so you can get some really awesome widgets with Muse Themes. Um, I use $1 Photo Club a lot and I'm affiliated with them. They have incredible photos. Um, you'll probably see one behind me. Um, I'll be using different photos so you can just see some of the photos you can get at Dollar Photo Club. Um, I use them for my websites and they're just amazing photos that you can get for $1 each. Um, some sites charge like you know 10 50 70 bucks for a photo which is kind of nuts uh, but yeah that there's a link to that there's a link to my Skillshare classes uh, if you want to check that out and also uh, if you subscribe you get invited to my community and you get uh, to check out my live hangouts where I actually do live um, I build a website live and you can ask me questions and you know we can just have an interactive session uh, Tuesdays I'm gonna be doing a um, was Tuesday. Yeah, I'll be uploading a new video on Tuesday. I'm kind of working out my schedule now. Um, Wednesday, I think I'll be doing a Q&A where we can, you know, question and answer. Thursday, I'm going to be reviewing some Muse sites of the day so you can see exactly, you know, what you can see what other people are doing with Adobe Muse. And thir um, Fridays, I'm going to be doing a live hangout. Um, that's what the schedule seems like, but I'll, up I'll let you know for sure. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned, tuned with this channel and I'll see you in the next video.